Verse 49. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. Now, this is always amazing because I did study a few years back <coughs> and what this actually says is this. What this has given us uh, insight into. Whenever you get hit in the forehead with a rock, generally speaking, it's going to hit you and usually you fall backwards. But this didn't happen with Goliath. It said that it went into his head, sunk into his head. Now the force of that should have knocked him back if it was normal. But the fact is, uh, whenever something sinks into a person's forehead and it causes them to fall forward, that is because of the suction behind it. And this, what that means is, now see, if you, you have to study this from ballistics. This is what happens if you get hit with a supersonic uh, projectile, a supersonic bullet, we would say. That when you get hit in the forehead with a supersonic bullet, you don't necessarily fall backwards. It actually causes you, the force of it causes you to fall forward. So this stone that David took and put in his sling and then sling it, it was, now understand, a human cannot sling a stone at the speed of a supersonic bullet. It is impossible. So David did what he could do, and when he slung it, when that rock left his sling, the Holy Spirit behind that rock got a hold of that rock and sped it up to the point where it was going supersonic when it hit Goliath, which caused him to fall on his face. Now that's because David did what he could do, and then the Holy Spirit did what he does, right? Which is amplify the intentions of the person that is doing the thing for God. See, that's why I say I can't heal the sick, but I can lay hands on the sick and my intention of fulfilling God's will that that person be healed is amplified by the power of the Spirit, which gives power to heal the sick. And that's how it works, right? Now, <clears throat> notice, let's, meet, let's keep going. <clears throat> it said in verse 50, so David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore, David ran and stood upon the Philistine. So he got up on top of him. So that gives you an idea that David was probably pretty small. And we do know that this Philistine was pretty big. So he stands on top of him and took his sword, Goliath's sword, and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. Well, there you go. Now, I want you to see this because notice this. David ran toward him. David used what he knew. He used the, the stone from the sling. He, knew, he used what he, was, what he was used to. See, so far, every time we've ever seen the dead raised, every time it's been the same. And, and it's not a magic terminology, but we use what we know in the moment. And we're not thinking, let's see, how should we do this? Let me think, hmm, I wonder, maybe I should do it. No, it comes out of you. If it doesn't come out of you, you don't have the faith to get it done. But whenever the situation arises, it will just come out of you. Why? Because you've been feeding in the Word, you've been meditating on the Word, you've been communing with God, and you have faith for the situation, and it'll come out of you. Now, every time that's ever happened with me, uh, when it comes to raising the dead, every time it's always been, in the name of Jesus, you will live and not die. Those are the words. It just comes out every time, and it works. Now, it's the faith behind the words and the faith in the God of the words that actually causes it to happen.